So just two other quick miscellaneous points while we're tailing off on page faulting. So you of course can have sensitive information in your RAM, things such as crypto keys, passwords, and sexy nudes. And so if that's in RAM and then the operating system page fault handler decides to page that information out to disk, that could potentially mean that an attacker who has disk access, whether because of physical or logical access, could ultimately get access to this sensitive information. Now, most operating systems try to mitigate this particular vulnerability by encrypting information as it's being paged out to disk and then decrypting it as it's paged in. And this is a reasonable mitigation under the assumption of a threat model where the attacker has full physical hard drive access. Also, as we'll learn later in the debugging section, there's only four possible read and write hardware breakpoints. So these are the mechanism by which you stop when there's a read or write to memory, not the mechanisms where you stop when there's execution. And so that's extremely limiting to only be able to monitor four memory locations. So sometimes either researchers or more advanced debugging software have attempted to increase the capability of someone to monitor memory by basically manipulating the page tables. So for every location that someone wants to monitor for reads and writes, essentially they can go ahead and manipulate the page tables set to the present bit equal to zero and consequently every single time there's a read or a write to that memory location then it will invoke the page fault handler and then you know the software has to find its way into the the execution flow so that it can say okay a page fault has just occurred what am i going to do about it okay is it an access to this particular address they would you know check the cr2 in order to figure out whether it was an access to an address that the researcher or the debugger you know person doing debugging wanted to uh, monitor and if so then they would let the human look at it if not then they would continue execution so that's just to say like as a very large hammer uh, just straight up marking pages as non-present can be used at extreme performance cost to essentially monitor memory anywhere within that particular page.